Welcome to SAP Finance and Controlling Modules. Please visit simplefinancesupport.com for your SAP learning requirements in the area of finance. Today I would like to go over profitability analysis module introduction and also the concept behind the COPE module. In SAP you can access to COPA specific menu using KEMN transaction code. Uh, with this transaction code, you will see only SAP specific menu items like master data, planning, actuals, and other information. And also you have at another transaction code ORKE for configuration. Using ORKE configuration, you can directly access to SAP COPA specific uh, configuration elements. So let us try to understand the fundamentals of uh, profitability analysis. Uh, first and foremost thing is that as a business entity, uh, it may be a small organization or a big organization, will have two elements which is revenues and cost. So basically the business that they are performing will result in the revenue and also in order to generate that revenue they need to incur some cost that is what the cost. So these are the two fundamental elements of uh, any business entity and revenues and cost the cost side you know you are the cost product or cost of uh, service and also there are direct costs and direct costs i will go over um, all every element of the cost also every element of revenue later on but uh, at very high level uh, you have cost of service or cost of product is one side and also the revenue generating elements in the market so the market may be it's an international market or the domestic market it may be uh, you know different customers uh, customer segments or the customer may be a corporate or it may be an individual so like that so the revenue can be generated uh, from anywhere depending upon the uh, business entity itself and um, so the resultant of your cost and revenue is what you call as a profitability in so analyzing this profitability from different dimensions the dimensions may be the market dimensions or the cost dimensions is what all about your profitability analysis so i'll go a little bit further uh, into the discussion here so when it comes to the business entity again as i talked about revenue and cost and then market and cost uh, which is resulting in the profitability so the revenue and cost is recorded in sap uh, through sap module called the general ledger module which means like all gl accounts that you have are either they are the cost or revenue or cost or revenue accounts so all that is part of your general ledger accounting so the every measurement of your revenue as well as the cost is recorded to general ledger and when you are talking of the market so the sales side like all the sales related activity is part of your um, sap sd module again you know there are like many variations of sd module you have a customer relation module like crm modules and other core um, you know, sales modules but in sap you call as like sd sales and distribution modules which handle all your uh, the business side of your you know sales and the cost side you know you have like all the SAP procurement which means you are procuring the raw materials which you are converting into your finished products so as the manufacturing that you are having which is like SAP production PP module and also you have SAP product costing uh, for measuring this particular cost and then um, you know apart from your direct cost of the product and you have like indirect costs which are overheads and overhead costing is also is part of your overall profitability okay so at very high level sd modules uh, procurement modules and production modules and the cost measurement modules along with your general ledger module is what you you know like uh, have as sap copa module integration okay so the copa module doesn't exist on its own it has to be integrated with all these modules so then uh, let's go into how other processes impact like for example revenue and cost revenue side um, you have like you know customer modules which are 
business partner nowadays like in sap s4 hana you are using business partner business partner and the sap sd module sap sm module which is like service management sometimes when you sell a product along with the product you may sell service also let us take an example of apple when apple is selling its product its apple computer or apple ipad maybe or phone it's also selling apple care which is like you know, if any damage occurs you know they are going to replace the product that's the apple care so that is kind of a service so all that kind of service uh, are managed in the sap service management module sm and also like you know the cost side you have like metals management module production planning module and again the inventory and all that is handled through your inventory management you know you can also think of like um, finite set of uh, you know costing which is like material ledger uh, kind of concepts are there so has got so many other modules but like you know these are the highest level and then you have sap gl which is natural records all your revenue and also cost and you have another segment reporting which is called pca which is a profitability sorry profit center accounting which is another type of reporting uh, rather than it's a you know like it's not a profitable analysis but it's like more of a uh, segment reporting um, so normally along with the general ledger you know you use pca in the general ledger you have legal entities like company codes and non-legal entities if you want to report as a financial then you are using a profit center accounting there then then comes the cost side you have uh, copc which is like uh, sap pc module you call broadcasting and like in broadcasting has got co pcp which is broadcast planning and sap obj which is like co obj which is called object cost controlling which is month end activity along with your pp model you will work on and then when it comes to overheads like you have cost center accounting activity based costing internal orders for project systems depending upon what type of uh, the in industry that you are or what type of activity that you are doing so all these modules are directly or indirectly related to your copa module which is kind of integration and then comes like a business analytics uh, sometimes uh, the entire business may not be in you know sap like you know some, for example if your company is uh, operating in multi country environment where some countries may be in sap or some countries may be in some other software so when you want to analyze the data from everywhere uh, from the profitability analysis perspective you will use uh, sap bi tools or any other third party bi tools to get the data from sap copa module as well as from other systems heterogeneous systems and analyze the business analysis so business analysis analytics also are integrated with your copa modules that way again uh, please do visit uh, simplefinancesupport.com to learn anything in sap fico area also integrated areas um, and you know the detailed discussions will be there for every single module and uh, this knowledge will help you in implementing uh, your sap projects or supporting your sap projects successfully thanks for watching this video and please subscribe to our videos